life experience and when you really haven't no i was no let me take that back what's going on back family excuse me for looking at this i actually got a good workout in today I was hitting the weights you know what i'm saying trying to get my, my forearms back right you know if you're saying you feel me do you feel me anyway shout out to the sister her name is pretty realist she's an avid trump supporter particularly this election because of the dims doing i got crumbs on me sorry about that family because of the Democrats and how they've been moving, how they've been acting. And uh, this is a great panel, right? Pretty dope. A lot of different perspectives, a lot of different opinions. Um, and there was some uh, uh, some Dem Democratic supporters that were in there. They got a chance to talk. I want you guys to listen to this conversation. It's only about 40 minutes. I caught, I, I didn't even know what was going on, so I just happened to catch her live on TikTok. I'm trying to make sure I share her live, her, her TikTok. So if you are on TikTok, you want to go follow the sister, at least see her content, see what she's about. You most definitely can do that. Oh, and don't forget, family, in the community tab, I've shared my secondary channel. I already got three videos over there. Make sure you go check that out and subscribe. I'm going to start doing two videos over there and one video over here. Two videos over there and one video over here because I got to keep this channel going because YouTube, no matter if they demonetize you or not, you still have to maintain the watch time hours or you can't really monetize. So it's Catch-22. Validation from another human being for you to exist in the world, this is the outcome because it becomes problematic. Mm -hmm. Instead of instead of turning instead of turning the mirror in inward to work on yourself and to be in alignment with you know God, Jehovah, Creator, the Most High, whoever, to seek His validation to exist in the world. So to to me, it's just it's just disingenuous for this new age of LGBT to sit up here and, and push the envelope to say, well, you know, you're going to accept me one way or the other. No, mm -hmm. there is no one way or the other because number one, why are you looking for someone? Why are you looking for another human being, you know, just like yourself, another human being? Why are you asking another human being to, to, to accept and validate your existence in the world? To me, that makes no sense. Right. It really doesn't. So, mm. yeah, I mean, when they start talking about that whole equal rights thing, they don't want equal rights. They really don't. They want superiority. They don't want equal. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. Uh, host, I appreciate everybody on the panel uh, letting me up. Um, I ain't had a chance to speak, but I'm, I'm definitely. Sorry. Going. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry. It's all good. I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. And, uh, <laughs> You know, first of all, I'm voting Trump 2024 all day, uh, over and over and over again. Uh, got, got my early vote in uh, here in North Carolina. We opened oh, up. Oh, good for you! You know, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I was. It was actually really convenient because it was only like a stone's throw from my house, uh, and uh, when I walked in, it was like the perfect time. I was able to get in there and out in like seven minutes, but. Uh, you know, I'm here in the state where, you know, we completely got devastated here in North Carolina by this last storm, as everybody knows. Yeah. And uh, I've seen what this administration, you know, uh, really, I was already, I'd already chose my side. Uh, but as far as uh, seeing what they did with this whole uh, catastrophe that happened in my state, um, as well as many other states, uh, it just it just really put a stamp on what kind of administration we're dealing with. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just so many things about this lady and about about the man uh, that was or I guess still is maybe the president. Uh, uh, you know, we've got this character, uh, Miss Harris, uh, who was never elected in, was never, um, <clears throat> nobody, <laughs> I mean, literally this whole entire situation is a staged event. And the situation is we're sitting back here uh, watching all this take place. And I believe, you know, what, what the Democrats say is they're woke, they're woke, they're woke. But there's a difference between being woke and being awake. Oh, yeah. And I believe that we're awake. And now we're seeing 
um, what's really going on out here. And really, it has to do with God's discernment and each and every one of us, because Trump is not perfect. But there's something about that man that makes me say, you know, regardless of all the things that I could disagree with, there's a there's there's something in his heart. I can literally see that makes me know this is the man that I want to vote for. This is the mm -hmm. person that I want to vote for, because I believe that even though he may have made mistakes like we all do, uh, even though he's not the best speaker, I really believe he's got a righteous heart. I really believe deep in his heart, he's a righteous man. And, uh, you know, uh, the things that have happened to him in the last eight years uh, have been devastating. And uh, I mean, all the way up until the assassination attempt that people, you know, state was a stage. I mean, I can't believe people were saying uh, this was staged. He did this for publicity. And I'm thinking this dude came within millimeters. If he wouldn't have turned his head when he turned it, nobody's faking an, uh, 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 that type of an attempt on, you know, an unaliving. And, uh, you know, it just really, it really, um, there's so much I can say. And there's so many facts that I know about this man, um, about the reform, prison reform. Uh, people don't understand he was the one that signed that in. Um, you know, my brother uh, uh, did a long, a long stint, and uh, he was always a, 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 a Democrat. But until Trump came about, and he's like, "Man, I'm full fledged Republican. I'm full fledged riding with Trump." And um, you know, I had a conversation with him tonight, and he was like, "You know, I'm an African American." Republican. And I said, no, you're not. I said, no, you're not. I said, you're a black American. You're an American who's voting for Trump. You ain't never been to Africa. I ain't never been to Africa. I wasn't born in Africa. And I'll never, ever accept that title again as an African American. I'm not African American. I'm a black American. Okay. And I've been here all my life. And just like they say, there ain't nobody out here saying you're a white European American. I'm not going to accept the title of being something that I never was. And so I believe in what America used to be. Um, I know America is not the same America I grew up in. I'm 48 years old. Um, I'm sure many other people on this panel may be older, maybe younger. But uh, I've seen the good days of America. And I've seen what has happened in the last 10 years to this country. Um, and it's just been devastating to see such a beautiful country with beautiful people have to be the pawn of this whole scheme of the Democratic Party. And not just that, the government. It's not just the Democrats, it's our government. And that's both aisles, you know. So I pulled for Trump because he's a renegade. He's a revolutionist. He, 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 he. He's chopping down oak trees, and that's what I need as a president. I need somebody to come in there and shake the system up. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, this man, this man's done a lot for people that look like me. People say all this stuff about him being, you know, the R word, but I tell you this: that man is far from that. He's far from that. He stands for people who get out here and get it. He stands for people who ain't sitting on the porch complaining. He stands for people who got out here and really tried to live that American dream. And you know, he's a perfect example. Um, you know, people talk about, well, he got a handout. He got $400,000 from his daddy. Hey, if my daddy was a millionaire uh, and he passed, I'd probably get 400,000 too. But you know what? I ain't get that and it's fine with me. I ain't jealous. I don't feel no kind of way. I feel good that there's still people out here that have made a way and they didn't squander away what their parents left them. You know, his dad left him a legacy. And regardless of who his dad was or whatever he believed in, that doesn't matter. What matters is what his son did. 
and his 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 legacy still lives on through his son. And his son's doing a great job. And so he's doing it for all Americans. Every 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 American out here, I don't care about what color you are. I don't care about none of that nonsense. Because when it comes down to it, we all need each other. Uh, and I'm talking about I'm talking about the ones that have chosen the right side, the righteous side. I'm not talking about the others. You know, so I'm gonna land my plane with that. Um, can, I, yeah. can I address you real quick? Bro? You you said something. Can I can I address him real quick, Freddie? Yeah, yeah. Let me say this because I see some comments, and I want to make sure because you invoke the word of God, and people tend to throw God out of a lot of things. I take God with me everywhere I go, and I know sometimes when I'm up on this TikTok, I get a hold of myself and start feeling fresh, and I start going at people back and forth, but that's truly not what we're supposed to be doing. The Bible is so clear, and even if you don't believe in the Bible, if you just believe in God, it is so clear. But what I fail to understand, we have some smart, prominent black people people that come in and out of different lives and I recognize names and I've heard the introductions that they've given to themselves and how they are pastor such and such and, and, and bishop such and such and, and this and all of these titles but when it comes down to the substance of it when you go into the voting booth how can you leave God outside the voting booth how can you go in there and say yes I believe in God and I, I, I support the things of God and then go cast your vote for somebody who is telling women all across the country Hey, it's okay to abort your babies after you've been out there. I'm just, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. How can you go in there to tell, to, to cast a vote for a woman or bring her up on God's holy pulpit when she didn't told boys it's okay to just change? Like God got it wrong. Sorry, I just don't understand. And you get people up here who want to argue about her being black or white or whatever. But I'm talking about the direction of the country. I'm talking about if you really believe that there is any entity sitting up on high and is good and evil how can you go into the voting booth and say i'm going to vote for kamala harris because she supports the what she supports unaliving your babies making children i mean allowing for children to become whatever they decide to be before they even know what they want to be I can go on and on and on and on and on about how everything she talks about. I don't even look at her. I just look at what she stand for. And I cannot with my believing self. I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant yes. when I come to them gates. I do not want to mm. hear, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Remember when you went in and you were casting votes? Remember when you were supporting? I said, represent me always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I want to say something. Hold on, hold on, uh, one light spirit, because I gotta let uh, Kumba Jenga sit speak. Um, first of all, everything y'all both just said is so is so factual. But what's crazy to me is that y'all in these comments and y'all talking crazy. Y'all don't know that God watching. Right. You don't, you don't think that you not being a coward because it's cowardly. Truthfully, y'all. I know y'all don't behave like this in real life. Like y'all would never say anything like half of the stuff that y'all say on these on these on these platforms. Half of the stuff that y'all be saying in these lives about people being coons, about all of these names, you would never say that into any of our faces. Never. Yeah. You don't want me to start talking about this because they asking questions like, "Who is God? The 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 entity that can not wake you up tomorrow, brother." But That's see, who the, thing, God the is. thing about Hallelujah. it is that, like, the thing about it is that not a shade. We know that they will never say any of these things in person. You guys will never say these things in person. So you hide behind these. And, and I really, can, yeah. I really pray every day that, like, the pe if you are a bot. I pray that the black people's picture that you're using find out and they sue your ass. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of y'all are not who y'all claiming to be on these on these on these platforms. You do know that we know this, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all aren't. And I know that y'all could just sit and feel comfortable as if you could just do this behind your app, sit in your mama's basement and y'all could talk all this crazy stuff. But you do know that karma is some real shit. So you may not get it today. Oh, but you gonna get it. You gonna get hey, it. Hey, host, every word that proceedeth out of your mouth is the life and death is in the power of the tongue. 
Can so, I tell you something else, Mr. Lit and Mr. Pretty? I'm going to tell y'all something that I got in prayer the other night for those who don't understand. In the Bible, in Luke 19, it talks about don't let a rock cry out for you. Mm. I hope y'all ain't up, up, up here thinking that y'all done lived in Disneyland so long that a rock is going to start singing. No, what a rock is is when the earth is moving, when you got earthquakes and you got hurricanes and you got storms, that is the earth moving. Don't let a rock, when all this sin is going on and nobody want to stand up and speak loud and say, hey, this ain't supposed to happen. And I'm not talking about the messenger. I'm talking about what they bring with their policies, what they bring to the people when you don't stand up don't let a rock cry out for you that means the rocks will say hey it's wrong that's why we got some storms coming that's why we got hurricanes and earthquakes in diverse places because god is saying if the people won't stand up then the earth will stand up do you understand mm-hmm. that do you get it and you don't have to believe nothing i'm saying because you know what i'm gonna tell y'all like this and i'm gonna go on mute but your belief of, of, of what i'm saying or disbelief don't make it nonetheless true tell me the man that can stop the hand of god when he set his mind to do something show me where he lives it's nowhere so if you are smart and you sitting here talking about saying, i'm gonna vote for kamala because i want will be prepared when they pour it out you be prepared to stand there and say well i did this and that's all i got i don't have nothing else i ain't gonna keep trying to convince people because that's not where we at we what 17 days out yeah everybody's gonna have to stand on their own and eat their own whatever that's it i'm sorry let me go on mute hi combo jenga hi how are you we're fine we're wonderful welcome 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 who are I'm you glad, going for i'm glad i from? came in with the temperature came down a little bit it was like <laughs> yes. i'm like oh god <laughs> so who are you where are you from and who are you voting for kamala okay yes where are you from? so i was trying to help out the boy but he left i mean i don't know what happened to him Y'all was attacking him like crazy, but I understood what he was saying, but I think that everybody was like talking at the same time. And he, and whether or not he could probably say, come out and say, or articulate what he was trying to say, but I get what he was saying. So for example, me, and, I would, and before I get on that, on the race part, um, I know we like, you know, when you said bot a few times, I'm starting to think, cause I was saying bot too, thinking I'm saying Trump bot, but I'm thinking that what you see probably is not actually bots. I'm, we're, it's easy to dismiss it and say it's bots, bots, bots. But I'm actually thinking everybody is so passionate on this internet and it's actually people on both sides, not actually bots. I mean, maybe bots, but I don't know. That's my theory. But anyway, so with the guy, he, what he was trying to explain was, I'm from Philly. I am um, Sierra Leone as well. But I was born in Philly. You said black is an experience. Mm-hmm. I was black before anything because I, you know, I grew up in Philly, and you know, I, I went to like a private school where I was like, you know, you know, back in Philly was very segregated, and so I experienced racism very early on as being black. <laughs> so my experience is back, whereas I never even went to Sierra Leone until the first time until a couple years back. So what he was trying to say, there's two things: is nationality and then there's race. Mm-hmm. And we sometimes in this country, we just kind of look at it, everything to what we see in our lens in this country. But it's, it's so much different. For example, like Hispanics, that's, that's a nationality. They can be white Hispanics, they can be black Hispanics. But it doesn't, I almost feel, and I could be wrong if you correct me, I almost feel that it's like, you know, I'm going to say black Americans so we can, we can clearly differentiate that it's like they it's 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 almost feels like it's a like a um proprietary ship like this belongs to me but there's black people like all over the world so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're black American when somebody says that they're black that they're black American but you get what I'm saying so that's what these this whole debate about race and and and, and um nationality gets kind of confused because it's 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 beyond these borders of this country like you can be black like in Sierra Leone they have they have a, a lot of Lebanese there that were actually born there generations they're not and they consider themselves Sierra Leoning which they are by nationality they've been there like generations in but they are, weirdly, they call them white over there. They don't call them really Arab. They, they refer to them as white people. But you have white people there, over there and you have black people. It's so just like you um, said, Elon Musk, same thing. He's, 
he's African, but he's not black. He's white, African, what they call him over there when they're white Africans. So I just want to clarify what he was saying because y'all was kind of going in on him. But I get what he was saying. You know what, sis, the reason why is we could clearly look at your picture and see who you are. Oh, yeah. And I tried to put the camera on, but I don't know, something with the live. I tried to. It's like some some restrictions. We could clearly look at your picture. Go ahead, President. But pretty well, Kuma just actually proved that, you know, just because Kamala's dad was born in Jamaica doesn't make him Jamaican. You understand? He was That's born true. there. He doesn't have the DNA of any Jamaican. So just because you're born somewhere where you want to talk about nationality, that's where he was born, if you want to put it that way. But he doesn't have any Afrocentric or Afro African American or Afro DNA in him. He said it out of his own mouth. So I don't understand how he says that he's not black. But then Kamala says she is. How does she become black? I just I mean, somebody need to explain to me how is she black? Because her skin doesn't mean anything because you have Indians that have darker skin. Yeah. You, that doesn't make them black. So please right. help me. So uh, uh, actually, what I said proved opposite what you said, what I was saying, the less um, I could call them lesbian. <laughs> what do they call Lebanese? The Lebanese over there in Sierra Leone, they've been there for generations. They're Sierra Leoneans. They're Lebanese Ceylonians, but they're not black. So I do believe that they're Ceylonians because they can even speak the language far more than I can. Um, but they're not black. They're just Ceylonian by nationality. And I'm pretty sure they have that a Ceylonian passport. Now, as far as Kamala, that doesn't mean her dad could be, um, he could be Jamaican. Doesn't mean that he is, he considers himself black because you got to realize too, in those areas, like especially in the Caribbean, especially in uh, Latin America, all those places, they're like mutts. You know, there's, uh, there's so many mixtures between like Indian mixtures, uh, you know, Taino, um, native people. There's so, it's like, so, it's kind of hard to kind of make it black or white thing because that's He's what- Irish. You know, it's, it's not hard. He's it's Irish. Not, it's not hard when he is an, an Irish, he's an Irish man. Irish people he, are in Jamaica? He, yes, he's, a, he's Irish Indian. It's what he is. Yes. So how do you get that to be black? Well, I've, I've never seen his, his details exactly what he was. So well, I can't he's a Caucasian. There. He's Caucasian. Yeah. And then when you look at Kamala's, the and if you look at Kamala's mom birth certificate, she's listed as Caucasian, not even Indian or Asian, which, you know, I believe that India is in Asia, but she's, she's put down as a Caucasian. So I'm just trying to, again, it's not really, me personally, it doesn't matter what color she is. At the point she it made it matter. a reference. She made I it an issue. She's getting really hung up on something, on these little details that doesn't really matter. No, it and doesn't it, matter, but if she, yeah. she made well, it, it an issue. Matter. It does matter. But she made matter it an issue, though. Nobody. It. Right. Nobody else would have cared. She made an issue like, well, Obama, we know he's mixed, but he led with, he was a black man. He, he That's what we took it as. She came out saying she was an Indian. Now it's like she's being conveniently black. And it feel like for me, like the Democrats, like they own the black vote. If you're black, you have to vote Democrat. Why is that something that, that people believe too? Because I don't think that's true. I think that we are diverse people. We're not a monolith. You know, yeah. you know, we are very diverse, but yet when it comes down to it, we have to vote Democrat. If we don't vote Democrat, like Obama said, we're not supporting a quote unquote black woman, then we kind of like trade on our race. So can you make me understand that as well? Because I'm a black man. I'm not voting for her, not because I dislike her because I don't know her. I'm not voting for her because I don't agree with her policy. So yeah. it's just that simple for me. Yeah, so, yes. so I wanted to add too. I, you have to also realize that a lot of times, okay, when people they are something in another country, they come here, and it gets very confusing because the the rules of race is a little bit different, and and that's how that's the foundation of how if you go back, I read this book called um, what is it called, The Cast, and this other um, documentary that was on HBO called um, this um, the Butte, something of the something of the Butte, and it talks about how race was created. And race was created based off of colonization and based off of, you know, um, all over the world, you know, the, you have the, 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 the caste system. Yeah, the caste system. But, you know, let me, this caste, caste system is, be, uh, the book is beyond Indian caste system. They talk about the caste system in America. So, and, and, and I'm, and I'm going to talk about my own people for a second, unfortunately. But even in the book, it kind of talks about, you know, that, um, and I hate to say this out loud, but also talks about that, how sometimes, um, and I'm gonna say because I'm real, they said that, you know, um, black immigrants sometimes put themselves in a different caste 
like, you know, and say, oh, I'm not dumb. Unfortunately, there is some that do that, and I don't agree with that. But it's true, but it's not everybody, right? But I just want to put that out there. But um, the race gets very confusing because it was used for slavery. It was used to dominate these lands all over the world and to take and mainly they put the white people on the top of the pedestal and we were at the very bottom and they use it for everywhere. So when I say that it's confusing come when you go in another land. So over there, honestly, she's probably a coolie, they're coolies. And she's probably a coolie there and they probably don't even consider them black over there in Jamaica. But I'm pretty sure when you come here, it's like very confusing because you know, back in the day you have the one ounce rule and all this stuff like, you know, you're not welcome in um, in this side or that side, especially if you're an black, you're, they will throw you into that black bucket. And y'all know that's true. Now we're getting a little bit different. So can I ask a question? What does it have to do with why you voting for Kalamala Harris? You come up, you were talking about race and who what she's considered, but I, I think we were missing the point. You came yeah. up, you said, I'm voting for Harris. Yeah, and then you, then you went into color, and yeah. I think I think the most important thing is over here we don't give. A, listen, if you're on the plane, and all of a sudden that plane goes into twenty five percent nosedive, and you know as a pilot that at twenty five percent it is impossible to get that nosedive back up so that the plane can level off, so you're going to hit Earth, right? Do you ask the pilot well, what color was she, or do you want to know? That that pilot knows how to get that plane to level off so that we don't all crash and hit the ground. Yeah. So when we come up here talking about I race, get, no, I get your point. At, I get your point. The only reason why I came in here, I only reason I came up here about the whole race thing because I was trying to get on that 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 guy was on here, um, Elijah Ba, which is funny when I saw right, his name. He's, I was, gone he's gone because he brought it to the wrong team. We want to talk about why this. Why the, do you support Vice President Harris? for president of the United, you want to give her a promotion from her performance right now. And we want to know why do you think she deserves a promotion? I do. And I think that she, um, she deserves a promotion and I believe that she is more than qualified. May we ask why? She has been, um, she, one, she's the vice president. Number two, she has been, um, she's part of the Senate. So, I mean, she was a Senator. She's a prosecutor, so she's been. She has. She has a years' experience and failed miserably at all of so, them. And so failed miserably at all of Donald them. Donald Trump has I mean, actually been that, a president. That is, hold on. This is why, I mean, so I kind of went and didn't want to go to that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You I just said I, you're using her experience. You said she's been a senator. She's been a uh -huh. vice president. But Donald Trump has been the president. And I think he was terrible. And number oh. one, the that um, that insurrection was the worst thing that could have ever happened to this country but at that time. But ma'am, ma'am, we talking yes, about what he did. This is, this is, this is, I this is, knew it. We have to, I know we have to, we have to allow every, we We're not going to talk, can we like not bring up J6? I don't want my, my life to get shut down. We're aware of oh, it's, it's a, it's we a don't heard thing. the story. We don't heard the story. We know the story. It's too sad to that story. Y'all obviously on the other side don't want to hear the real truth about that story. So to just kind of keep it cool on the even kill, we just not even gonna talk about it. Because truth be told, it really, it really, it really, that's, that's, I kinda didn't want to go I mean, I got yeah, all not go there. But like this is my so this is my question to you. Uh -huh. you. You say you're from Philly, right? Yeah. So do you all have a demigrant issue in Philly? A what issue? When when it comes to the illegal with the border being open, like do you all have an issue with that? I'm, I actually live in New Jersey, so I don't see it here. And then so you don't see it in Jersey. In no, Jersey. I don't. What part of Jersey? I live in South Jersey. So I, I wanted to say this, uh, and I and I, I'm gonna get off for this this right race topic. And, uh, and in all fairness, I probably don't see it. Uh -huh. I live in the suburbs. I, you know, I'm a software engineer. I'm so asking. I'm, asking, I'm from Willenboro. Hey, hey, hey Willenboro. Address Kuma on South one Jersey. Piece. <laughs> uh, now you're my friend. <laughs> you know, Kumba, you know that the only people who brought in anything that has to do with race has to be uh, Biden, Obama, and Harris. Those are the only people that bring up race in their political world. Well, okay. Listen, I disagree listen, with listen, you. Hold on, hold on one Go second. Ahead. They're the only ones 
who bring up race and don't do anything for the race of people they bring up. You do understand that's their history, right? Um, let me say as well, and these are facts, all right? The only people that say you ain't black unless you vote for me or uh, Obama two weeks ago pondering to the black males, scolding them because they were black males, specifically because they were black males and they were not voting for a so-called black woman. Now, I'm going to leave that alone because those are all facts. I want you to see the big picture. The big picture is these people ponder to the color of skin. OK, Trump does not ponder to the color of skin. All right. Uh, he actually does. Trump. He Trump. does. Trump. Trump. Go ahead. Be, yeah. Please tell me how. Oh. Well, what's the whole black jobs comment? Like, so let's start with that. Black jobs, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say something because black jobs are being taken by these immigrants, and I know this what is a black job, and I think that's offensive because it's not it's offensive, how, man. It's offensive. how is that offensive? But black businesses isn't offensive. Like we say, black businesses all the time. We say black music all the time. We say mm -hmm. black. We say black culture all the time. Black, black jobs. Why isn't he just? Why aren't they these, just these people? illegal immigrants? We're dumped in mostly black cities and they're taking jobs that black that's in the Senate. It. Black unemployment. Black unemployment. Why didn't ask Joe Biden the same question? Because he said black jobs as well. He sure did. Yes, he did. I saw it with my own eyes. I heard it with my own ears. He said black jobs too. The thing is with me, and but I was like, saying this, this is the thing. Let, I think when it comes down to, and I used to be a Democrat, so I get where you're coming from, but I think the thing is, is that hypocrisy is like, Everybody can hold this man to an account for everything he said, done 50 years ago. But when it comes to the Democrats, they can do the very same thing or worse. And we're so quick to forgive them and say, well, they changed. Why can't other people change, too? If Even if Trump did some quote unquote racist thing in this past, which I don't really see the records or the receipts of that. But if he did, let's just say he did. But Joe Biden has been on record. It's out there. You can find it where he's did and said some very horrible things about black people. But for some reason, yes, we're easy to forget the Dem forgive the no, Democrats. No. They can do whatever they can I'm, to us. And we're forgiving them. But because of Republicans, I'm, I'm not, they're always the racist. Please let me understand that. But let me clarify this. I'm not like so gung ho about Democrat versus Republican because I have a thing about some Democrats and I have something about Republicans. I vote up upon the person. Like I didn't care for the Clintons. I didn't care. It's a lot, you know, so I'm not gung ho about that blue versus red because we get caught up in that as well. But, um, Oh God, I forgot my point. But what but I was saying is- you're voting for is the top of the ticket, so they represent your party. So if you're voting for Biden, if you vote for Obama, you voted for the person that's the head of your party, because you know that's what that is, Robin, they're the president and the head of your party. So you actually are picking red and blue. I don't know why people try to play these little word games with people, but we got to start being honest. And one thing about us as black people, we don't want to be accountable for nothing. We always want to pass the buck to everybody else. At some point, we got to take accountability that we have voted for these people overwhelmingly, yeah. giving them 80 to 90 percent of our vote. And they have done nothing for us but pander every two to four years or promise us. We go, I promise you, if you get us in, we're going to do this. And then when they get in, they forget about us. I don't understand that. And that's the reason why I can't support Democrats. And I'm not saying because we have never given Republicans a chance. So I feel like, hey, to break up the insanity, let's give them a chance. And the Republicans don't do what they want, do what they're supposed to do and take appreciation of our vote for them. If they don't do the right thing, then we'll show them the same thing we're showing the Democrats. We're not going to put up with it. We'll do something different because at this point, we're we're losing and they keep on pointing at the republicans they're the racist they're the racist but when you look at the history of the democrats and still to this day they are the party of race they're the ones that always bring up race like i said trump don't really bring up race he didn't bring it up then it was a question asked of him at the democrat at the um, debate about black people so he talked about it just like when he talked to the black journalists they brought up the thing about kamala he didn't bring it up so again it's amazing to me how we have the selective the selective stuff that we pick out like i said Again, but Trump ain't always right. I don't even like dealing with Elon Musk like that. I don't even like that. But at the same time, I could criticize Trump on certain things I don't like. But for some reason, it seems like with Democrats, they just don't want to hold Kamala accountable for nothing. That's not Happy true. Birthday, I'm not about Kamala, pretty. but I'm saying I can. Yay. I can. Um, hold on, I'm going to let them talk, and then I'm going to play my celebration song. No, play your celebration song because it's midnight right now. Hurry up. It's, it's midnight. Hurry up. I'm sorry. Don't play your song. song. 
Let her play her yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let her finish. Go ahead, let her finish. Okay, I got I, fan then. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna hurry up and wrap it up. So basically, I was. I see Dante. You go ramble, ramble on and on and on. You throw some points, so it's hard to even go back to what the things. I you wasn't said. rambling. I was very concise. So please don't do that because you got up here initially and you said we was Dante, attacking the man. And we wasn't oh, attacking and we was attacking this Dante, argument. So don't play on these words up. for me, ma'am. I'm not I'm the not, one to play Dante. those word games with. Don't do Dante, that. Relax. We no, just, I'm very relaxed, talking. but you're not going to accuse me of somebody and do. Not, you got to relax. You acting like a queen now. I, I thought your party is accepting oh, the queens. You acting like a queen. a queen. You gotta relax. Even if I was a queen, Wait. I thought your party accepted them kind of people. I'm not a queen, though. I'm gonna tell you that now. Hold if on, you chick. Go there, we can. I could be a female for a few minutes because y'all like believe in that. I hold be on, chick. Go because you got somebody that's that's from Philly too. So what's up? Okay. <laughs> so what's up? Oh my god. I'm clenching my pearls. So what's up? You got somebody oh. from Philly too. So what's up? Oh, yeah. that's so Cute. North that Philly, Germantown, so what's up? North okay. Philly, 29th and Thompson, so what's up? Nice, nice. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Aww. Y'all well, taking away from this screen. Is what thing about people like her is when they can't win an argument, they want to attack a person of character. If I was, a, be if I was taking, if I was doing, if I was taking penis up behind, queen. I'd be the first one to say I'm it. I'm not. So don't try to you're, come for me, tell me I'm a queen. You you're think you got bigger balls? You never be a man, man. Emotional. <laughs> well, I'm, just, no, I'm just calling. It, I'm just calling. See what I'm, it is, y'all. As black, some of y'all black women are just black men responding back to y'all. Y'all used to say stuff for people cry right now. Listen, I'm a strong black man, and my strong black mother raised me to be that way. So don't twist it like that, player. Don't even try me like that. Don't please don't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna call me reckless and think you'll just go get away with it. It's not gonna work that way. Happy birthday, pretty. Yeah. Happy birthday, pretty. Happy birthday. <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm gonna get the peach bellini. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, pretty, oh. my, my, my son's birthday is too, is also today. Yeah, 22nd of October. Yeah. It's on the other phone. You, your son's birthday today too? Yes, ma'am. Yes, See, ma'am. Uh, we have been talking about Stamila and now my song don't want to play. Oh, we Lord. Big, we got a big day planned for him today. <laughs> Y'all yeah, that on their pop. Oh, happy birthday! Girl, you have to get off this live and go. Get I know that's right. You gonna have to Girl. go and get busy, honey. You have to get off. She gonna have to get off of here. Indeed, child. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> your fitness. Yeah. Oh, she don't even get it done. Why you? Why you all in my? Hey, hey, pretty, hey, pretty Trump said uh, hey. happy birthday. <laughs> you gotta turn it up, pretty. We ain't heard nothing, honey. We can't hear nothing. Turn it up. My little thing gone. I'll celebrate with y'all tomorrow because my little my little speaker died. Oh, oh. But see, you should have had DJ Knock over here. He would have cr- cranked it's it up. It's gonna be fun. tomorrow. Tomorrow we gonna have a turn up. So I'm gonna okay. let DJ Knock know well, because thank my you little for speaker sharing your died. birthday with us. That's what happened when you get speakers from City Trends. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got it from Five and Below. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Has anybody ever heard the expression a sledgehammer to a nut? A sledgehammer to a what? A sledgehammer to a nut. You taking a sledgehammer to kill a nut? Have you ever heard that? I've never heard that before. Never. Oh my god, where am I from? I I heard that all along. I don't know. I never heard that. And so I'm deep I want to say, guys, coast. that. I've had an amazing time this evening. I'm about to get ready to go. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do a stag. You're a little stag, tipsy. Stag, I am a little tipsy. But stag be up all night to like she do. the next day. <laughs> she do. My, oh, I got to call stag. Lord Jesus. I'm glad y'all I was her, You know, I texted her the other day, uh, uh, now to Shay. You know why. But yeah, I did too. I texted her just to make sure she was cool. She said she was visiting her family. Which uh-huh. I'm happy, so she's safe. She's with her family. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, well, I ain't text her about that part. Okay, well, let me mind my business. She's just, oh. she's just on vacation right now. Mm-hmm. 
That's all. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We missed some. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but Kumba, um, yes, I would strongly suggest, and it was a, it was a couple of questions in the comments that I wanted to say. Listen, somebody said, "Well, God sent eighty one million people to hell." I read that somewhere, and I'm just going to respond with "narrow is the way," and he often talks about a remnant. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Everybody ain't going. Everybody ain't gonna go down that road. So yeah, uh, whatever. And Miss Kumba is like nice yeah. you, and, and and pretty. Happy huh? birthday! Happy <laughs> birthday! Thank you, guys. I'm about to get off of here and so drop. Beautiful. Tomorrow we're the- gonna be back at here. I'll be back on here. Everybody will be. What done time? What time? Us. I'm gonna make like this. Um, I think there's a way that I can give you all like a pre, like a pre announcement whenever I go live. So I'm gonna make a pre announcement so everybody can go live with me tomorrow and we're gonna pull we just gonna have a good time we're gonna try not to talk about politics if we do it is what it is it's gonna be the drunk politics though yeah. right right that's no, the really, drunk politics. really <laughs> that's you, Kuma, really that's not Kuma, Jane, but thank, listen i want to say you. like thank you sis for coming in here thank you, thank i know you. it probably got a little like emotional <laughs> but we appreciate you either way because we always like we like to have you know people from the other side to come on our yeah. lives like without us arguing and yeah. you, you came on as a lady. Thank you. We thank appreciate you. that. At awesome. the end of the day, we all we see each other in the streets or somewhere. We the same people. So it's like no matter what your beliefs are or anything. So, you know, that's a, at the end of the day, don't make a difference. Right. You right. All right, y'all. Well, love to you all. Y'all have a good all evening. Right. Okay. Enjoy right. yourself pretty. pretty. All right, right family. So that was the entire video uh, that I caught. I don't know how long she went on. She probably been on maybe a couple hours, three, four hours, whatever. Let me know what you think. All right. Let's get the conversation started in the comments. Be one.